Okay, over at the kitchen is this purple comet in orbit at the ghostly galaxy. If, if memory serves me, this is one of the hardest uh, stars to get in the game, in my opinion at least. Um, there's a pole star path area, and it's called Purple Coins in the Bone Pen. But in the Bone Pen, there's a whole load of uh, pole stars, and you've got to avoid a load of stuff like mines and stuff like that while collecting 100 out of the 150 coins in, in under one minute. Yes, under one minute. You heard that right. And yes, the music has started. All the awesome music of the Purple Coin Challenges. But anyway, very, very Oh, shoot, not the meat. Anything but the meat. And, oh, come on. This is why, this is, this is what makes it so hard right here. Is all those bouncy things combined with all of the mines and the time limit. No, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so. At least when you get hit by a mine this time, you can catch yourself. Um, and, oh, no, the batteries are low on... The batteries are gone in the controller. Dang it, I gotta restart. <laughs> Alright, on the next 1001 ways to die, death by battery running out lossage, whatever you want to call it. So let's try this again. <laughs> I think this one's all charged up, so this should be just fine now. Anyway, let's just uh, first go around the perimeter of this area, because... Um, the majority of the coins, I would say, are around the perimeter of the area. Uh, or I, sh I should say the fastest coins that you can get around the perimeter of the area. And, uh, so just do that, as I'm doing right here. Just collect as many as you possibly can as you go around. And I did not make that curve very well. That was a very bad turn on my part. Anyway, the star appears in the center, by the way. So you've got to work your way in towards the center gradually. And that's what I'm kind of doing right now, the best that I can. And I think I'm going to make it. i got 15 seconds to collect 12 coins. I've got this. Oh, I know I've got this. Come on, baby. I've got this. Oh, yeah. Six seconds to collect the star. All I need to do is grab that one at, towards the left, and yeah! There's the star! Okay, I think I have enough time to do one more star, and that's going to be at the Melty Molten Galaxy. I believe this is a Daredevil Comet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, you got to beat this whole stage, yes, the whole stage, on the Lava Spire, without taking a hit. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Um, if you know what you're doing, this one isn't that bad, but uh, learning how to beat this one without taking a hit is a nightmare. So... Let's get to it. It's basically the same stage as the Lava Spire one, so it's not really that much more difficult. It's just that you got to do it without taking a hit, which is kind of intimidating. So I'm going to be doing as many shortcuts as I can to avoid, oh shoot, avoid as many obstacles as I can along the way because of safety uh, precautions. And go all the way over here, and you know what to do here. Just wall jump up here, then ground pound that. Wait for the steam vents to come out of the wall, and then make your jump. Woo! Hop, 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 and don't even worry about going to the left this time. Just go over here, and then here, and hit this one too. Wait for the epic explosion. Yeah! Woo! It starts on top of it! Life doesn't get any better. Rocket yourself over there at the launch star, and use the pull stars to get yourself through here. I don't know why I had so much trouble on this before, but hopefully I won't have much trouble on it this time. Uh, after all, the pressure is on. The pressure is on me. Dang it, I touched the planet. Hold on. Alright, I'm back at the pull star path here. Time to be extra careful. After all, this isn't a race. All you have to do is get to the end. There's no pressure other than just getting to the end without taking a hit. So, yeah, this is working out pretty well now. Just now that I took a little bit extra time to take my time. And now I just gotta wait to touch this launch star right here. Boink! Woo! Epic! Solar flares of awesomeness! And now we're on this. 
this area right here. You know what's over here. I gotta collect those uh, um, star, not star pieces. Well, I guess you could call them star pieces, launch star pieces. Right over here, there's two. Number three is right here. Um, number four is over here, and then number five is off to that corner there. Oh, no, you don't. I thought I was gonna knock his uh, flames out of him. And the launch star appears right there. Hold on. What the heck? Okay. Now I'm going to the main portion of it that I finally got back here. It's already been like 10 minutes since I started this one. Wow. This is taking a lot longer than I expected, but whatever. What can you do? Anyway. I would recommend that you only touch these things when you're ready to uh, long jump or something uh, to, to get away from them. Um, like, because you don't want to fall in the lava with them. You want to kind of jump as far as you can onto them. And then, and only then, they'll activate to uh, uh, fall into the lava. Well, anyway, run up the lava spire as quickly as you can. And avoid the enemies as you go. Wait for this thing to fall in the lava. Just long jump across the gap. You don't have to wait for anything. Uh, as long as you just go through it quickly. Oh, except for those. Sometimes you have to wait for those. And uh, just hit this thing right here. Wait a second. Wait for it to fall in. Oh, my goodness. Holy pores, that was a close one. You could see the lava coming up coming up the platform. It was about to burn my plumber bottom there. And the lava's coming up very quickly. Very quickly. But this part isn't that bad at all now. It's that first part that uh, that you risk taking a hit on that part of the lava spire. And, uh, oh my goodness, I almost took a hit there. But that's it. There's the star. I am done with this part. I'll see you guys in the next part. Ugh. Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just noticed I really, really have been miscalculating uh, the times on these parts. I thought I was going to fit in like nine stars in two parts. wrong -o. So this is actually, this explains why that my commentary has been like off. Like I kept saying, well, that's the end of this part. Because I had to keep putting stars in different parts and I thought that they were going to be. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this one right here to fill out the part, the secret star of Deep Dark Galaxy. Let's find out where that is, shall we? And, of course, we got to unlock, or I should say open up that area once again, um, where that uh, grate is way over to the left over there. So i got to shoot myself over to this planet here. Oh, I missed the rainbow star. Oh, well. I was just a little bit, a little bit too quick about shooting myself over there, but that's okay. Um, anyway, just get the fire flower there, go into the launch star, flop yourself back over to this area here, and you know how to how to do this right by now. Just light the torches over there. Uh, you can also kill the crabs along the way. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, the secret star is in this area right here. Or I should say, it's coming up in this area. Get away from me, Mr. STD. So, uh, avoid Mr. Magic Koopa there. You can destroy that spire and get some star bits along the wall if you want. But I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the, the star that I need to get is way, way at the bottom oh, down here. So let's just see if I'm correct. I'm pretty sure that the star that I'm looking for is inside a treasure chest. I could be wrong, though. Um, obviously, if I am wrong, I'm going to be cutting around here. But, I guess I'll see how things go as they go. So, okay. There's a, there's some, there's a bubble with a coin there. I'm, I should probably get that. And, yep, yeah, there we go. Now I max out on air. So, let's just take a look here. There must be a shell and a treasure chest. Oh, there's a shell. Got the shell. Okay, what am I looking for again here? I would I would think I'm looking for a treasure chest somewhere around here. I could be wrong, though. I mean, I don't remember, again, where the secret star is. Come to think of it, my memory's been failing me lately with this game. Let's just blow up a mine here, or, or a bunch of mines there. Ah, that was it. That was it. All right. 
that that looked very suspicious there. Okay, go in the launch star. You're gonna go underneath the planet. Surprisingly, the water doesn't drain out of it. Most likely because of the uh, gravity in it. So then, uh, uh, wh whoops! I for I forgot that that boo has the star. For some reason, I wanted to jump on him. I have no idea why. Um, so let's go all. Oops. Go upsy daisy and hit this thing or change the gravity around. And then I'm I think I have to hit that thing again. Yeah, I'm just going to hit it again, just trust my instinct, and I'll flip it around again. Um, wait, I want to get shot into there by the, yeah, by the water cannon there. And there we go. Oh, I, how the heck did I miss that? What the heck? That was just so weird. Anyway, as you can see, I'm on the ceiling. I'm inside some sort of cube. Or at least I think it's the ceiling, because there's water here. I, I, I don't know. I mean, there's water doesn't go on the ceiling, but it appears to be dripping downwards to the other side. Yeah, there we go. I switched it around, and now I'm going to destroy this crystal here, which will make light appear. And now I need to hit that once again, and now i got to get that boo to come down here. You. Dude, ow! Come over here. You can do it. Not you, Mr. Spiky Dude. The boo must come over here. Yay! And there is the star! And now that officially closes out this part. I'm, I can't believe I messed up so badly on the timing there, so I apologize for you guys on that. Uh, I guess, I guess uh, since I got all the stars, I should say the complete uh, showing of how I got each star in each part, rather than having to split it up, it's more acceptable. But I usually like my parts to end with me saying something like this. And there it is! The star! I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Ta-da!